The missus brought a new book in Asda yesterday. She found it next to woman's own. It was Fifty Shades of Grey. She smuggled it into our boudoir and went right off to bed. I heard her laugh and giggle what was going around her head. About an hour later, she stood right by the door. She wore a pink neglected. My mouth had hit the floor. She appeared to look quite frisky. My heart had filled with dread. The thought of her half naked. I'd rather pop off dead. She looked at me flirtatious. In her hand she held a whip. She threw it on the bedroom floor and slowly tried to strip. Well, fifty years or so ago, I may have had a peek. But my Doris hasn't weathered well. She's eighty-four next week. Watching my Doris bump and grind couldn't have been much grimmer. And then things, they went from bad to worse as she toppled off her zimmer. She struggled up, back on her feet. A couple minutes later, she put her teeth back in a gob and told me to titter later. She stood there nude, stark naked-like to get me in the mood. She bent down. It made me frown as I trod on her left boob. Doris screamed. Her teeth shot out. My God, what have I done? She moaned and groaned and then screamed out, Step on the other one. It wasn't nice, and age was cruel. This is hardly Casablanca. I told her this. She filled with rage and called me a fat... This book's a pain, causes excess stress. I wish it was never written. If you've seen Doris Nude, you will agree. Twice shy if you're once bitten. So if you find your missus says she wants to read this book, recommend Gordon, Jamie or Delia. Not a handbook on how to... I leave you with this final thought as my old dad advised. He said our dog, he chases cars, but there's no way he can drive. My friends, I cannot tell no more of what happened on that day. Suffice to say, my ginger hair, it had turned 50 shades of grey.